Hello and welcome to this Instruction Learner Plan video brought to you by BI. Today we're going to look at model to model imports in Anaplan. In Anaplan, you can import data from a source model into a target model, and you can connect to any other model to which you have access. Anaplan allows you to choose whether to import from a list, a module, or a saved view in the source model. As you know, having a data hub is one of Anaplan's best practices. Therefore, today we are going to see how to import data from a data hub and how to perform it more optimally. Now let's switch to Anaplan and see how this works. For the purpose of our example, I've prepared two models. One, demo data hub, which will be the source of our import, and a demo target model. In our data hub model, we have a numbered list with all of our transactions that is updated periodically. For simplicity, we're going to use a very short list with only three properties, country, product, and amount. In our target model, we have two lists, countries and products. We would also like to update them periodically. We could use the numbered list in our data hub to extract the countries and products for which transactions are made. That way we can be sure that we will have the proper dimensions for our data in the target model. As said earlier, in Anaplan you can import data from one model to another using list, modules and saved views. When updating a list, the first that comes to mind is using another one. Let's try to do it here. We're first going to press import. Then we're going to select connect to Anaplan model. Here on the left, we have to select the model. In this case, it's the demo data hub. On the right, we can select if we would like to use lists, modules, or saved views for our import. We're first going to try and use the numbered list, units sold. We need to select the property country of our numbered list, thus updating our target list with the countries where transactions are made. Since our countries are uniquely identified by their name, we don't need other information. Let's now run the import. As you can see, two countries were added but a lot of errors occurred. The problem with using the numbered list to update our hierarchy directly is that it goes through the full set of data and thus ignores a large part of the information as it's simply not needed. This could become slow, especially for large lists, and will raise errors, which might be undesired if the respective update is done by someone who does not expect them. We could try to use a different method import from a saved view. Let's first create the saved views that we need in our demo data hub. In it, I've created a module with the numbered list as its dimension. Three of its line items, product, country, unit sold, are the properties of our list. I've added two more line items here required for the update of the list in our target model. Both work in the same fashion using the isFirstOccurrence function in Anaplan. The function returns a boolean, which is true if the value of the first argument, in this case product, is the first occurrence of that value within the specified source. Paired with an if statement, the function is going to return the product's name here in second case country only if it's first occurrence. After that, we can easily create saved views, filtering only the values that are non-blank. I've created two such saved views. One will be used to update our products list in our target model and the other one for the country list. I've shown only the column 
with the first occurrences of products in this case. And I have applied a filter to it that is set to not black. It is the same case for the country view. Now all it takes is to update my list in the target model. So let's do that. We are again going to press import. We are going to select our demo data hub as our source model. And then we are going to press saved view here. I am now going to update my countries list. Therefore, I'm going to select this saved view. When I press select, I have to map the source line item to the target list. By default, the names of our list entries are going to be recognized as the source. This is going to return only numbers. Instead, we need to use the respective line item, which stores the first occurrence of every country in this case. Let's select it and press Run Import. As you can see, in our import, everything was updated and no errors were shown. Now let's do the same for our products list. We're now going to use the other saved view. We're going to use the appropriate line item for our source and then press Run Import. And we have managed to create three new entries in that list. In conclusion, Model to model imports in Anaplan can be very useful when updating your lists or modules, especially from a centralized location such as a data hub. For more information on model to model imports, you can visit Anaplan's Anapedia. Thank you very much for your attention and have a great day! If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.